Duplin County in eastern North Carolina doesn't have social services such as those provided by United Way agencies and the Red Cross in most communities. But there is one person who's taken it upon herself to help those in need, Lily Sanders. Lily Sanders is the most unselfish human being I've ever known. Uh, I've never seen her do anything for herself, ever. Lily gets up, I believe, with someone else on her mind. And what can I do today to help someone? I think she demonstrates the, the idea that we always have something to give, no matter how little we have. Over the years, Sanders has provided food, shelter, transportation, medicine, clothing, furniture, everything imaginable for her neighbors in need. She's even taken care of the dead by arranging for their burials. To me, service is looking after the needs of others. You know, it's not about me, but every day I try to find somebody to bless somebody to help. I never met somebody like Lily. She is a wonderful. Sometimes she has something in her house and somebody need it. She don't think about her. She's thinking about the people. I, I realized early in my life and especially when when other uh, other nationalities started moving in that when you hurt, you hurt the same. When you need, you need the same. If you find somebody crying, the tears of a Hispanic, you can't tell that they're crying in Spanish. All the tears look alike. And that's the way we serve people. Without Lily Sanders, a lot of people would probably not be able to survive such things as burn out. My house had been burned and Lily was right there to have a door open for me to walk in. And food, it was very hard to have enough food to feed my family, but Lily, was there and same as though she could always find a way that we could get a good meal, clothing. I wasn't able to buy clothes as I would love to for my children, but through her, my children was able to wear decent clothing. She touches so many lives in so many ways, spiritually, physically, food, medicine, whatever it needs, whatever the need is, she'll find a way to do it. Lily has done a variety of things that have met people's needs, and these are things that you would not normally expect of a person of her means. Lily has not had an income herself. Her husband uh, has become disabled because of uh, uh, a condition that developed in his body, but yet she has been driven to meet the needs of other people. I can't afford to do what I do. I've never been able to afford to do what I do, but God has chosen me, and people bring me the stuff, whatever it is that people need, and I just distribute it out. Lily has learned that true philanthropy represents the love of mankind and how do we give our time and our talent and our treasure. And her time and her talent are extraordinary of what she gives to people. She gives her treasure because she gives everything she has to help other people. What I do is the most important work. I can't say job. It's the most important work in the world. I wish there was a person that would beat me doing what I do in every town in Duplin County. All that would mean is more people being served. Lily does what she does because her needs have been so great in her life. And she has not forgotten any of those emotional feelings and that lack 
that she knew all of her life. And uh, she promised the Lord a long time ago when she was older that she would fulfill deeds as she saw them. The motivating force for the passion of what I do is my need. There is nothing that I've ever done for anyone that I haven't had that need in my life. I feel like my healing only comes when I help someone else to heal. And it has worked with me, and it gets better and better and better. Lily went to Seattle with a group of women for an international women's funding network. Now, in preparation for Lily going on this trip, some people gave her some money just so she'd have some spending money in Seattle. As we were leaving, Lily said that she had given away the last of her money. And what I found out is over the period of time that we were in Seattle, every time she met one of these women, as they would tell these stories of absolute extraordinary giving, Lily was inspired and she would give them money. She would give them, out of her limited resources, she would give them all gifts. And so as she came back to North Carolina, she said, I was so excited because what I realized is that money from people in Magnolia given to me to go on this trip, I could help give to women to do their work around the world. And knowing that money from Magnolia was going to help change lives throughout the world. And to me, that's the ultimate story of giving, that whatever she has, she shares. And that's why she's a philanthropist, and that's why she's a teacher, and someone who's a great mentor. I learned from Lily Sanders that the work never get too hard. The work never get burdensome. The work never get that you would rather sleep than to help someone. I think Lily sacrificed um, her life is only helping people, that she don't care about her. Sometimes I say to her, Lily, you need a day for you, for a break. And she say, I don't gonna stop until I die. <laughs> so I would say that there is probably not any adult person in Duplin County who has not been touched in some way by her ministry. If I had one wish, it would be that the people of this world would learn to love and forgive no matter what nobody has done for you, to you, against you, that you would learn to forgive and love each other not for no particular reason, but we would just get get a crazy thing going in Duplin County, let it jump over in Samson and in Wayne, that we got a love bug and everybody's gonna start loving each other and let's do what's best for each other just because it's a good thing to do.